Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be talking about the components that make up our VRA environment. Let's start off with our VRA appliance. This is a pre-configured Linux VM available from VMware. Inside our VRA appliance, we have a product portal. We actually have two of them. One is used for management, how do we actually configure the appliance itself? And the other one is how do we configure our environment? And to support those portals, we have a Postgres database. But the Postgres database doesn't just do those product portals, it also stores catalog items. These are blueprints. If we think about a house, a house has a blueprint that says this is how things should be built and this is where things should go. Just like with VRA, when we build a virtual machine, this tells us how we're gonna build that virtual machine. In addition, it also stores tenant information. That could be information about our machines, our users, our groups, or just properties in general. We then have VRO, which is our vRealize orchestrator. VRO is a general runbook or a blueprint creator. We go through the process defining each single step in a process so we can automate it. And VRA layers on top of it. It extends the capabilities and functionality of VRO. So instead of having to find each single step along the way, we can say we need to create a virtual machine. And VRA knows those steps to pass over to VRO. The last part of our appliance is our VMware Identity Manager. This provides authentication. It integrates with Active Directory and provides authentication methods like username and passwords, tokens, SAML, smart card, pretty much any kind of authentication you can imagine. Our next major piece in the environment is our IaaS web server. This is running in a Windows server with IIS. Inside of our IIS server, we have our model manager web. Our model manager web handles the communications. When we request a VM to be created, it goes to VRA, which passes it off to IIS, which passes it off to our model manager web. And our model manager web knows who to talk to next to get the work accomplished. In this case, that would be our distributed execution manager, which is known as DEM. DEM has two different functionalities. It has two separate services. One service is an orchestrator, and another one is our worker. And these can be both installed on the same box or can be installed on separate boxes. Our orchestrator monitors the status of our workers. How are you doing? How's that job coming along? And if for some reason our worker is unable to complete a task or maybe goes offline, it can requeue up that task and send it to another worker. Before it sends the workflow to a worker, it does some pre-checks. It does a walkthrough of the workflow to make sure there's no issues before sending it off. Once it gets to our worker, our worker can then start executing it. Where did we request our virtual machine to be deployed? Because that'll make a determination on how the worker handles it. We have endpoints. An endpoint is where is this virtual machine ultimately gonna be deployed? If our endpoint is vCloud Director, our dem worker says, I know exactly how to talk to vCloud Director. And it can start executing that task, that workflow on vCloud Director. But if it's vCenter, for an example, the dem worker doesn't know how to talk to the vCenter endpoint. It would then pass off the workflow to a proxy agent. And that proxy agent knows how to talk to vCenter. So if we take this a step back and let's look at it as a company, VRA would be our president. Our model manager web would be our director handling that communications. Our dem orchestrator would be a senior manager, which is handing that job off to a frontline manager or worker. And our frontline manager may or may not know how to execute a task. In this situation, it may have to hand it to one of our employees, our proxy agent. And handling all this communication, keeping track of where everything is, is our manager service. This is like our project manager, making sure it knows where everything is in its execution. Which brings us to our last piece. This is our SQL Server. This can be installed on our IaaS web server, or it can be installed on a third box. And our manager server and our model manager web would both communicate with our SQL Server. Our SQL Server maintains information about our machines. So for example, policy information, reservations, endpoint data, machine status, or lifecycle state. It stores the information about our machines. And those are the major pieces in our VRA environment. From our pre-configured VRA appliance to our IaaS web server, executing our workflow. And then we've got our SQL database, which is tracking information about our machines. I'd like to thank you 
for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it's been informative.